Okay, so I've kind of been slacking off on this video meme thing. So I'm just going to do all of them today, since today is the day I'm supposed to be finishing it up anyway, and I'm going to post, like, five videos in one post. So I don't really expect that many people to watch all of them, and I'm going to keep them short in the interest of maybe possibly having people actually watch all of them instead of just skipping through a bunch of them. So, uh, day 11 is someone I miss. Someone I miss. Um, I really miss my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, my mother's mother, who I called grandma, uh, as opposed to my father's mother, who I call vovoa, which is Portuguese, because she is, uh, 100% Portuguese. Uh, my mother's mother was German, I believe? Her maiden name was Allers. Yeah, I think she was, if not entirely German, then mostly German. Um, my grandmother could knit, and she knit us things for every Christmas. Every Christmas I would get something knitted. Uh, she made sweaters, she made slippers, I got a lot of slippers from my grandmother. And unfortunately I don't have any pairs left. I had um, individual mismatched ones, and I'm not even sure I have any of those left. Which makes me sad. Um, she could knit and crochet, she could do all kinds of things with yarn. Uh, and I really regret not learning from her how to do all of those things. Um, my grandmother was a fantastic cook. Uh, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, we would go to her house, and all of my mother's side of the family would be there, all of my aunts and all of my cousins, and we would pack, like, 25 people into my grandmother's little, uh, little house in the projects, and, um... Uh, and I just remember all of all of those holidays so fondly because uh, there was a lot of love in that house and it was really palpable on the holidays but I could feel it whenever I was there my grandmother used to babysit me a lot um, when I was much younger and she owned three cats, and when I turned eight years old, I suddenly developed an allergy to cats. So every time I would go over to my grandmother's house, I would start sneezing, and my eyes would get all puffy. It was ridiculous, and I'd have to go all doped up on Benadryl, and, um, and then the cats died off one by one, and that was sad. Um, my grandmother's name was Lorraine. Um, I'm not sure how old she was when she died. She was born in the 40s, and she died in 2005. And, um, she died from melanoma, and my mother and I were there with her in her last days. Um, she lived in New Bedford, and she had to go to Boston for her treatments. And my aunts are all useless human beings and didn't have cars or refused to drive my grandmother to her appointments. So my mother had to come down from New York and drive grandma to her appointments. And um, I had just ended a semester at school really badly. I think I dropped out that semester. I was already starting to get depressed and my mother said, well, why don't you come with me, come see your grandmother, come come to New Bedford, we'll go around Boston, it'll be nice. So I went with my mother thinking, oh, we're just going to bring grandma to chemo, everything will be fine. And we got her to her appointment in Boston, and the doctors checked her in, and she didn't check out, and she died a few days later in the same hospital, which I believe was Brigham and Women's, um, Brigham and Young? whatever, bring them in something in Boston, and, um, and it was terrible, and I got massively depressed, and uh, that was one of my worst depressive episodes, the summer of 2005, it was terrible, um, 
So I've been missing my grandmother since 2005, so six years now. And um, most of the time I just don't think how much I miss her, but uh, when I do think about it, it starts to make me depressed. So I think I'm done with this one, and uh, that was day 11.